Hello everyone, it's me, Lancer737. In today's April 15th, 2021, Thursday of the second week of Lent, of Easter, I mean, sorry, of Easter, not Lent. The daily readings I'm getting from are from the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops website. The first reading is Acts 5, 27 through 33. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We give you strict orders, did we not? to stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became, became infuriated and wanted to, bring, wanted to put them to death. Alleluia, alleluia, you believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia. The final reading is from the Gospel of John 3, 31 through 36. One who comes from above is all above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gifts of spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. Really important and straight to the point. We have laws for a reason, and we're to follow them. They're important for our safety and for others, and to show that you love, like in, in the case of the laws put forth by God, it's to show that we do love God. Again, things aren't going to be easy. Most people don't have an easy path in this. But we have to try as absolutely hard as we possibly can. Um, it's um, I think that's a that's about all I can say about that. Um, some of the other things that are here, I've touched up upon, including Thomas. Why? Um, you are blessed to believe in God, not having seen the things that are written of what he was able to do, Jesus, his resurrection and stuff, versus Thomas where he saw Jesus die and he absolutely doesn't believe that Jesus is standing before him and he takes his hand and he lets him feel the, the damage that was done to him during the crucifixion, including being speared through the side where, where his uh, kidneys would be with the Roman spear and he felt it. Um, it's understandable being the ones that can see behind the curtain, what's going on versus people that have to have faith. They, they have to walk the extra mile to believe. So I understand that. Um, the rest of it, It it just goes. It shows the the fire that these people have. To defy people who think they're the authority, when they're not really. And they harm Jesus, and it's good to see that our apostles didn't stop fulfilling Jesus's mission. And again, I guarantee you, their road was extremely difficult to travel to. Anyway, don't lose heart. 
try as hard as you can and explain to Jesus, you know, if you fail, tell him why and try your best not to. We're all in this together, so don't feel like you're the only one that, that, that falls and has to get themselves back up. Everyone does. Anyway, I hope you have a blessed day and peace be with you.